and we have put together a very interesting program for you. Can you see my screen, please, someone? Yes. All right, I have to put it into this presentation mode. Okay, so I am the chair of uh, IEEE Chicago section. Um, I'm also senior scientist uh, at the Argonne National Laboratory. Um, I was elected to, to be chair last year. I learned about this in September, just about this time a year ago. And, you know, we had uh, a lot of plans regarding our section. Uh, and, uh, you know, I was actually uh, making a lot of plans for this year. And this is driven by the fact that IEEE is uh, Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers is the large, world largest technical and professional organization. I'd like to remind you the power of this institute and uh, just to remind you that we should be proud that we are part of this. And if you're not a member yet, please uh, go to uh, IEEE.org and look uh, at the possibilities that exist there. Uh, just as a reminder about IEEE, IEEE is, uh, has around 420,000 people as members um, worldwide. And this, uh, the membership is centered around the engineering profession in general and covering pretty much all fields of uh, engineering. And uh, IEEE is existing pretty much in all countries around the world. There are 10 different geographic sections. So we are belong to uh, 10 different geographic regions. We belong to region four, which covers Central America. Uh, Central the United States, you will hear more uh, about this um, region for today. Uh, there are 40, uh, almost 40 technical societies and seven technical councils. All of these technical organizations covering um, engineering disciplines, computer science, they engage in variety of different uh, activities, including conferences, meetings, um, publishing journals, uh, and so on. So we are part of this big institute and you know, in Chicago, we are doing our fair share. And so I was uh, planning about my uh, year 2020 chair as a chair when I was tra traveling to the South Pole and I wrote the email from there to our, our members and I had a long list, longer list pretty much how much we wanted to achieve this year. We have succeeded some and we missed uh, some opportunities somewhere. This year certainly was very unusual year and at some point it was even challenging, I, was, I would say. So briefly about Chicago, Chicago has over 4,000 members. It's the largest section in the region four. And the last year, uh, we are happy that we were named the best large section uh, in the region. And so this year was very challenging for us because of all this uh, COVID-19 pandemics, but we have tried to use the challenges of this, uh, you know, social distancing to, to benefit our members and try to re-engage with our members and to bring more of uh, international community into our meetings. Um, so this year we have uh, done quite a lot nevertheless. So we have new website that was uh, designed by our webmaster. We tried very hard uh, to spread information about our activities and social media. So we had set up Facebook. It's first time actually for the section. This uh, summer we have uh, set up Facebook page. We're active in LinkedIn and Twitter. And so this allowed us to reach far beyond their uh, Chicago area and the United States and even internationally. Very often in our meetings, we have a lot of international partners from Europe and even from Asia. So uh, our chapters, affinity groups, have put very strong efforts in them making um, you know, the activities visible. Uh, this year so far, we had 103 meetings organized uh, by the different parts of the section. Uh, this is less than last year, but nevertheless is not far away from our last year achievement. And I think this shows that we are very active. And besides the technical meetings, we also had meetings organized by our affinity groups the PACE, Young Professional, and Women in Science and Engineering. Uh, there are quite a lot of uh, things uh, happening online with many, many members attending. And I hope some of you actually have attended these uh, meetings. So we also uh, try to reach out to our members. So we uh, run several 
virtual um, senior membership elevation events within the section, uh, the Police Chicago section and subsections. I think we have about 50 new senior members that were elevated this year, which is great for the section. Also, it helps us to bring new volunteers to, um, you know, do the, the work of our section. We also had some new programs started, uh, in particular with uh, uh, support from Region 4 Industry Engagement Committee. IEEE Chicago section had uh, several section hosted and industry hosted events. And the last one actually um, was about educational opportunities for students. It was co-hosted together with um, a section, the Milwaukee section. So we're trying to break traditional borders and try to use this opportunity of virtual life, as if you wish, in order to reach to more people uh, in the country. Uh, of course, we are also um, partnering with um, local nonprofits that share our values and core values in, in um, you know, in engineering in general, in education and promoting engineering and education in science and technology, among in particular among the students. Uh, so one example would be uh, our partnership with uh, Chicago Engineers Foundation. Uh, we are participating and supporting actively um, the very own uh, Washington Award that recognizes contribution of engineers, local engineers, to um, the well-being of the society, especially here in Chicago. We also contribute to the program of um, a scholarship program to support young students uh, that have chosen their career, future career as engineers, and we are proud of that. And of course, everyone knows by now that the Chicago section is a home for uh, pretty much now famous science kit for public libraries program, which is very active, where Chicago section through Chicago Foundation and, and with help of our sponsor supports uh, science and technology, um, distribution of science and technology materials to public libraries. We have uh, tried to uh, increase uh, uh, visibility, increase number of technical uh, chapters available for our members. Since I joined, uh, let's say an active way, uh, the section, we have added six different chapters. So 2017, uh, sorry, 2018, we added the magnetics and sensors chapter, then we added uh, engineering and biology and uh, um, also sensors consoles this year, then robotics uh, chapter this year, we're also starting new chapter on superconductivity. So we're trying to grow our opportunities for members in technical field very actively. Of course, some of their uh, some of our achievements were very noticeable on on the national level. I'd like to mention vehicle technology uh, chapter that was named the chapter of the month. Uh, some of our members were honored uh, also nationally. Here I listed also Bob Hoffman who won uh, who won this year honored member award from EMS, uh, IEEE Electromagnetic Compatibility Society. So in general, I would say, in spite of the fact that we are all as a you know, community challenging uh, difficult times somewhat, uh, with a lot of unknown in future, we still are very positive and we are hoping that our future will be successful, mostly because of uh, the great work of our members. Uh, so yeah, this is my last slide. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, IEEE Chicago leadership for all this hard work that was done this year. And uh, also like to um, thank Elvin and his committee for putting this meeting together. And I'd like to introduce to you uh, our new officers for 2021, actually. Uh, so the section chair will be Sachin Kumar, who is now vice chair. Section vice chair will be Brooke Abegaz. Uh, Sachin, uh, Elvin becomes the section treasurer. Uh, then I will remain section secretary and I will uh, step down and will take advisory role as an advisory chair. Thank you very much, and I wish you good uh, morning uh, session and, uh, and very interesting Q&A session in the afternoon. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Val, uh, for that. Um, and then let me just share my screen here. So I'll show you the uh, schedule. So this is what you should be referring to uh, for the rest of the day. So let me just share my. Okay, can 